Hello, this is Jinsum. I'm a golf professional in Seoul, Korea, and I've been playing golf for 12 years and realized that there are a lot of people um, who feels like this game is too complicated and difficult at the first time. So I just wanted to help those out there to get to know about this game and also to help the players who already play. Um, but before that, uh, English is not my first language, so it might not be perfect. Please bear with me. And now, let's get started. But for today, I want to talk about um, how golf is scored because this is one of the most recurring questions that I get asked. So first of all, Golf is all about who can get the ball into the hole with the least amount of strokes, which means the lower score, the better. There are a few ways of playing this game like match play or foursome, but almost every game, I mean, it's commonly played as a stroke play, uh, which will be playing 18 holes for one game. So this is what we call a hole, and playing 18 holes will be considered as playing one game or a round. To every end of each hole, there exists a literal hole, which is around the diameter of an average cup, so I guess it's slightly bigger than this cup. <laughs> so every hole is completed when the player sinks the ball into this cup. And our goal is to complete these 18 holes with the least amount of strokes. Each of these 18 holes come in different terrain designs and distance, and by this whole distance, the holes are distinguished into the part 3, part 4, and part 5. Uh, these numbers, part 3, 4, 5, are the expected number of strokes for a golfer to complete the hole. Um, so the course designer predetermines this when designing a course, but of course following the golf rules. So compared to the part 4, part 3 is shorter, and part 5 is much more longer, so that's why one less and one more shot is given as a par score for each. Um, the word par, what I've said a while ago, um, is derived from the word par value used in the stock market. So it's kind of a standard score, um, which the golfer score will be compared to. So if you should do just the same as the par score, your score will be zero. And if higher than, it will show a positive number and if you play lower than the par score, it will show a negative number. Um, I actually brought one scorecard here. So this is the scorecard where the players write down the scores. And as you can see here, it says par 5, 4, 4, 4, 3, and so on. So just like this, this par 3, 4, 5s will come in any order, and it will depend on the courses. These 18 holes always consist of 10 par 4s, 4 par 5s, and 4 par 3s. So if we add all of those par scores of these 18 holes together, it will be a total of 72, and this is the par score given for 18 holes. As in soccer has a first half and second half, these 18 holes are broken down into the front nine and the back nine. At the end of each hole, the player will write down the number of strokes that were made and the aggregate score of these 18 holes will be your final score. For an example, if you shoot 72 just the same as the par score, the score will be called an even par, and if you play higher than the par score, it will be called an over par, which is not good in golf, and if you've played lower than the par score, it will be an under par, which will be the glory. And you know, typical recreational plays are just play one round of 18 holes, but almost every professional tournaments are held for four days. So the players are ranked by the aggregate score of these four rounds. What a long journey to win a tournament, right? Um, but I think that's the beauty of this game. Even if you didn't play well on the first round, you can still make up on the rest of your round. And the leading players could never cut off guard. So what I wanted to say was, and um, it's not boring at all when you know this game. I hope this video had helped you to understand um, a little bit about this game. Actually, this was my very first video, so I know this isn't the greatest, and I felt like my English and everything is not perfectly ready. Uh, but I just wanted more people would get interested in this game, and I also enjoy this terrific sport, so I decided to make my YouTube channel. And I'm planning to upload my videos consistently, so if you're curious in this game, please consider subscribing. And for those who are hesitating to start golf, 
I want to say just get started like I did right now and I would love to be part of the journey. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you all enjoy this game of golf. See you in the next one.